the big bad badgers. On Saturday, on Saturday, the friends often got together to play soccer at Uncle Bud's park. Sometimes they would have pickup games with whoever else showed up. One day, the big bad badgers came to the park. Wanna play soccer? The biggest badger asked. We'll beat you and we'll play you. Because there's no one else around. The friend who together. They scratch just like bugs, said Gob. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here, said Bucky. I'm going home to pain. To pain, said Lily. Wait, said Sophie. They may look big and scary, but we're experienced. We can beat them, and Jumper will score lots of gold. We'll show them who's the boss. Who's boss? Said Jumper. It took some work, but Sophie and Jumper finally convinced the others to play. Jumper tried hard to shoot, but no one of the gang would pass the ball to him. Sophie and Sammy kept tripping over the tails. Lily stopped to pick flowers. Parky lot down to lay down and took a nap. Gob took out his magnifying glass to look for ants. Ali finally scored a goal, but it was for the other team. <laughs> the Badgers now had four points. This is a waste of time, said one of the Badgers. We are going home. Wait a minute, said Jumper. I need to talk to my team. He called his team to the sideline. We can still win this game, he said. Forget it, said Bucky. They'll turn us in to smash potatoes. No, said Sophie. They might be bigger and stronger than us, but we can beat them if we play as a team. Let's use our assets. Our what? asked Lily. Our strength, said Sophie. Bucky, you play goalie and stick out your scores too. Scare those nasty badgers. Jumper, you keep shooting since that's what you're good at. Sammy, use your bush, big bushy tail to pass the ball. Lily, when you're not picking flowers, you're great at headers. You know, God, you're huge, so you just get in their way. Ali, you did a good job. Now just, now. Just head for the right call this time. Come on, guys. Let's be a team. Everybody agree to try Sophie's idea. Stick around, said Jumper to the Badgers. We are back in the game. Nothing's gonna change, said the meanest Badgers. You'll see. The two teams faced off Jumper. Faced off. Jumper passed the ball to Sophie. Sophie passed Ball to Lily. Lily headed it to Sammy. Sammy used it still to push it to Jumper. Jumper kicked the ball into the goal. Goal! yelled Gob. Now the team was really excited. Lily headed the ball to Sammy, who scored another point. Pockets took out his skirts whenever the badges came close. Gob used his big body to get in the way. Of the forwards, Jumper and Sophie scored two more points. The game was tied 4-4. The both teams were getting tired. Let's keep going till someone scores the winning point, yelled Jumper. I just thought a really original play, said Sophie. Come on. Come again, said Gob. A play that's never been tried before, said Sophie. She heard with the team and explained her idea. Let's go for it, said Jumper. The next time they, ha they had the ball, they tried out Sophie's idea. Gob passed the ball to Lily. Lily headed to Sammy. Sammy looked for Jumper, but Jumper was caught by several badgers. From the corner of his eyes, Sammy saw that, that Lily was free. 
Me, me, me! Tell the daddy. Sammy kicked the ball to her just as the batter starts early. He dove through the leg and got the ball. But as she ran for the goal, she tripped. Oops! said Ali as she fell on her face. Yet someone the ball. Somehow, yet, somehow the ball got the side of the, her head. Boink! The ball slid into the goal for the winning points. We won! screamed the gang. Hooray for Ali! Cop lifted lifted Ali up into his shoulders. Good game, said the Badgers captain. You guys were better than I thought. Thanks, said Jumper. Let's play again sometimes. Sure, said the captain, as long as Ali plays on our team. They wanted...